Hello everyone, my name is John Mendes Hunter and today I will be demonstrating on how I create or how I paint a misty effect. This will be one of the most important element in painting. When you create the misty effect, it will add um, the realistic effect of a distant background. So just watch guys and hope you understand. And I will be using the same uh, paints guys, the primary colors and the two neutral colors like the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the lamp black. So you also observe guys that I'm also using limited colors in my palette because I want to try not to mix and get the desired colors you want. And of course guys, I, this is my canvas and with a three coats of prime white, white acrylic or gesso. And I will be using um, only three brushes. So, but you guys, it doesn't matter what, what brushes you're gonna use. In a way, I'm just I'm just teaching you the the technique. But I will show you my brushes. I have here the number eleven flat brush, number eight flat brush, long handled, and number one uh, liner brush, or round brush uh, for the details. And water, guys, um, to tint the paint. So we need water to to make sure that paint flows freely in our canvas okay so i'll be start using a uh, painting now so first guys we need we need to dip the tip of our brush into the water to make it a little wet and we're gonna start painting now and please observe guys and 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 hope you you understand okay i will be using this white so i'm making this part guys really light so i'm going to paint now a forest guys so this will be some kind of a misty forest so i'm going to make this part white the lightest so maybe guys in the future i'm gonna teach also teach you to make paint a misty mountain so this, that will be a different um the same approach guys in technique but different um um, forms and textures and also the strokes so. okay and I'm gonna use this blue color with a little black to make it a little um, bluish you can also use red guys to make it a little um, um, tell this um, little violet so I'm gonna use the white okay so let's do it this way guys so we're gonna add some stains of colors distant colors so later guys we're gonna make it um we're gonna blend these colors so i'm gonna use this white here so i'll just blend the colors guys it doesn't matter i mean it is um it is um, really uh it's not, it's not um not uh, what you call that um as much as if the color is not really uh, blended well so just follow everything I, uh, everything um i'm doing so i just have to blend it here like this anyway this this is just the first coat so the background Later we're gonna add more um, darker colors. Okay, we're gonna add the white here. Make sure guys this the uh, the colors really light. You can wet your brush guys so you can dip the tip of your brush to water to make it a little wet so that it will flow freely in your canvas so just blend the background just have to blend the back background like what i'm doing Okay. 
Okay, so we have now have the rear light background color. This will be our first foundation, guys. This will be our This will be our background colors. So, so as you see, guys, it's like a um, forest with lots of trees. But this one is really blurred, so just the impression that it is um, out of focus. So that's okay, guys. Okay. Okay. So. Here now the background colors. So next we're gonna add a darker color, and we're gonna using um a smaller brush. So I'm gonna use this. I'll be using this number eight black brush. So of course, guys, you need to wet first the brush before we're gonna use it. Okay, so let's mix for a darker color, and I'll be using the blue here. We need. Uh, no, I'm gonna use uh, the red to get the little violet. And you can also use the black. More red to make it more reddish. And I'm gonna use the white to make it a little lighter. So we need to adjust, guys. We need to control the values of the colors. So, as what we observe on our mistake effect, guys. The, the farther should be the lightest then we're gonna make it darker dark and darker and the darkest the the nearest guys object so we need to make it uh, we need to compare it here it should be um, darker than this color then then that's how we're gonna do it okay so I'm sure it's lighter we're gonna add more white color here white paint so I think this one is um, light, light enough yeah compare to this ok so we're gonna add um, a tree here since we are making a forest so we're gonna make a tree ok I think it's very still wet but it's ok Okay, so we're gonna add some branches. Okay, that's it. So we have a very bright color. And it's really wet, guys, okay? so the, the paint in our brush is mixing in the background. So the good thing about it is just the color will become more uh, lighter. Or become lighter, sorry about that. Okay, so we, uh, we need to add more branches. Okay. okay, that's it. So we have now a tree here, very light tree. So, as you will see on this tree, guys, it's very misty and very light. And we also add one here. This in color. Okay. Okay. And also here, we're gonna add uh, the same color, guys, the lighter. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we have now nearer objects, right? nearer trees. So that will be uh, very nice. Very, will be great. Okay, now we're gonna add um, a nearer tree. Um, the color should be darker than these colors this um, tree here so kind of mix for a darker color and we 
we need, we need to change the values so we just add the black color guys so we're gonna use this black color here to make the darker one so we're gonna use the blue and the, the red but I guess you can gonna only also you can just use a blue um, blue and black but I'll, I'll just add red to it to add more release, releasing our color okay so I think this one is a little dark now or darker than the previous one so I think I'm gonna use this one now okay so as you see guys this one is a lot darker than the previous one I think I'm gonna make it um, lighter okay so I'm gonna apply it here see see so yeah it's darker I'm gonna make this to repeater okay that's it so since our background is still wet so again the color is mixing in the background and it it, it also become uh, way lighter than the, than the color in our palette okay then okay. we're gonna add more branches you can actually use a smaller brush guys if you are having a hard time using this brush I'm using the tip of a brush sideways so that we can create a smaller strokes but you can also use a smaller brush okay so we have now a tree um, a narrow tree and that's great now we need to add um, a darker tree so it will be uh, the nearest tree guys oh no um, nearer tree okay so we're gonna add again um, black and blue to create a darker color than red to make it a little reddish and blue guys okay so this one is is you see is, um, it's um, a little yeah darker than that than the previous one so when you match the color guys when you match these three colors here so this one is darker than the previous one and this one is the previous one okay so that's how you're gonna do it and i'm going to put it here i'm going to wet my brush guys to make it um fluid branches again guys our background is still wet so that's why our color is also mixing on the on the on the background so it, it became lighter okay but you observe that it's way darker than the previous one okay so yeah So you observe guys on the color um, variations or the values of the colors. So this one is lighter. Dark. This one is dark, darker than the previous one. And this one is way darker than the previous one. Okay, so you can now observe that 
there is a misty um misty effect on our painting okay so now i'm going to add the darkest color here here guys I'm going to, this will be the the nearest um color or the nearest no i'm sorry yes the nearest tree to us so it will become darker or the darkest then i'll be using the black here i'll be using the black with blue and red in the color and use the black to make it uh, way darker than the previous one okay so this one gonna add a little red and i'm gonna put it here okay Can with your rest guys to make it a little fluid. add some more branches darker branches okay what do you think guys it's now darker I'm gonna add one branch here you can use a smaller brush guys if you have a hard time using this brush Three. And I think we're gonna add one here to make this uh, painting complete. We're gonna use this red and blue and uh, black again. So this one is the darkest color. I'm gonna put it here. Branches. So what do you think guys? So yeah, so you observe guys that this part is the lightest, so that will be very very misty, so you won't see any object on that part. And this one is the newer uh, the hardest tree, so you can see a little object here. Then this one is the newer to the compare this one, so it will become the color will become um darker to this one and this one also guys the values become darker to, to this one and also this one is the nearest um, tree to us so we can also add textures on this one guys if you want to and add some, some light lighting effects or some textures on the park or the or on the trunk it's all up to you guys so i hope you understand on my simple demonstration how to create a misty forest or a misty effect on a painting so hope you get something guys and 
all my advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you'll do it, the more you know how to mix the colors, and the more you'll know on how to use your brushes. That's what important, guys. The first important thing in painting, guys, is to use your brush, the techniques, the techniques, and the second one is is on how to mix the colors. So that's why I'm using primary colors because I want you to learn how to mix. Okay? Please hit like and subscribe to subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you're in the painting, room, just follow everything in this video. Um, thank you guys. Um, have a nice day and God bless you all.